and welcome back to Otaku no Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. This is part of a series of videos analyzing animation from a technical perspective. In this video, I'm going to talk about emotion in animation, particularly in terms of how animation expresses a character's emotion. How does it do that? Well, that's easy, right? Through the expression on the character's face. Well, it's a little deeper than that. And this is particularly relevant to anime, which excels at showing both strong emotion and subtle emotion in its characters. Here's a hint, the big eyes help. The anime industry uses a variety of stock expressions to show strong emotion, but also the way anime faces are constructed allows for much subtler emotional acting than a typical, say, Warner Brothers superhero cartoon face. That said, anime characters tend towards broad, somewhat over-the-top, exaggerated expression and movement. Characters make these sweeping arm gestures and leap off buildings and do lots of big, open, large movements uh, and actions that express strong emotions. However, anime's relatively low budget creates a very different pacing of emotion than you see in Disney-style traditional hand-drawn animation. In Western animation, because characters are constantly moving, they will tend to move from one emotion to the next quickly. In anime, we dwell on a particular emotion for a longer time. In particular, we'll often cut to a still drawing of just that one character with a particular expression on his or her face to further draw out and help us dwell on that emotion. This is one of the central powers of anime that makes it distinctive from Disney-style animation or limited animation. By dwelling on an emotion, we are drawn more deeply into the character's world than when we're leaping from action to reaction. I should also explain a bit about what I call anime visual cliché. These are stock expressions and poses that we see over and over in anime. They are shorthand for certain strong emotions. How often have you seen this pose? This is actually a pose common in traditional Japanese theater. It was adapted by the staff of Astro Boy back in the 60s because it needed to show strong accusation from a character, and this does that very, very effectively. Same thing applies here to throbbing anger veins and nosebleeds and sweat drops and all the rest but that's another video. So that's a quick primer on the differences between anime's expression of emotion compared to other styles of animation. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.